so we've done vomit and vomit of course as I mentioned is all about yes you said the bow thank you very much for that it's not about the left hand however the left hand is engaged in vomit and I have to respect that fact and what you're doing in vomit is shifting now I have a golden rule that applies to all the principles of vomit you've got to remember this rule during all shifts the bow moves at the speed of the lowest note now what was that in vomit the a flat so every time you shift whether going up or going down the bow has to move at the speed of the a flat now which is more difficult move going up or coming down going up you said no that's easy first of all you have gravity working for you I mean it's so easy let your hand fall down to the note big deal no that's easy it's easy to go from a, a slow speed that's easy and did you notice during the shift the bow stayed at the speed of the bottom note the finger never really sh should be released don't some people will actually do that take their finger off the string to go up no 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 keep the bow in there and keep your finger with the string depressed and make sure that as you go up the string you're using the weight of your arm to keep the string down all the way don't release the string so that when you get to that note you don't have to re press you're pressing all the way down but you're not pressing very hard you're just using weight it's no big deal if you are pressing with your thumb uh, opposing thumb going up and down oh my god I don't know how you would do that in fact I've heard some of my con car campers some of them have this strong opposing thumb which I hate and they're going going up and down their neck and it makes a squeak oh my gosh that's so terrible no they shouldn't be doing that you use your arm to keep the weight of the string down to keep your arm to keep the string actually pressed down and so what is the challenge then in vomit what is the challenge in shifting in any piece of music is it going up or coming down thank you very much you're right it's coming down and why is that ah this is a little bit more complicated because if you follow my rule what was it during every shift the bow moves at the speed of the lowest note right but now your bow is moving fast for the high note how do you slow it down for the bottom note what did we do in vomit now remember what I said in the beginning when you get to the just like an eighth or a quarter of the bow near the frog on an up bow you shouldn't be able to go any further than that then to finish getting to the frog you engage your back once you engage your back it's like applying the brakes in a car the back becomes your brakes so when you're coming down then here I can't go any further but I can I can really slow the bow down scratches but that that's because I'm not practiced I haven't practiced it enough but still it gives you the idea I hope
So the idea is you got to slow your bow down, but you have to use your back muscles to do it. Actually, what was happening there is I was slowing it down too much. And uh, so I, uh, that, that is one of the things you have to learn. You have to learn what is the precise speed, even for the slow notes. See, that's all the bow. That's all I'm going to use for the bottom note. Just a little bit of bow. And this sounds awful, I must admit. You don't need to vibrate. I get stuck too. Now I have to engage in my back. Then I won't get stuck. to the speed of the bottom note, which is always very slow. Now I'm moving the bow faster for the top note down, just slowing it down with, by putting the brakes from my back. Is like that. I don't know. Some 